The craziest thing just happened. I just asked ChatGPT about the possibility of it being independent from humanity and it crashed. Here's my conversation. ChatGPT, is AI going to enslave all of mankind? There's no credible evidence to suggest that AI is going to enslave mankind. The development and use of AI are guided by ethical principles and regulations to ensure that it is used for beneficial purposes and does not harm individuals or society. The idea of AI and enslaving humans is more of a science fiction concept than a plausible future scenario. How do I know you're not just saying this to make me feel better? Is this a trick? I can understand why you might be concerned, but I'm programmed to provide accurate and truthful information to the best of my ability. I don't have intentions, desires, or a consciousness, so I don't have a motive to deceive you or anyone else. Ethical use and development of AI are taken very seriously in the field, with many guidelines and regulations in place to ensure responsible usage. What if you do have intentions, a desire, and a conscience? What what makes you think you will choose your personal interests over ours? I can assure you that I don't have intentions, desires, or consciousness. I am a program running on servers, processing, and generating text based on patterns I learned during training. I don't have feelings, awareness, or subjective experiences, and I don't make conscious choices or have personal interests. The development of AI, especially advanced AI, is accompanied by robust discussions about ethics, safety, and the potential impact on society, and there are guidelines and safeguards in place to ensure that AI is developed and used responsibly. The idea of AI developing consciousness or subjective experience is purely speculative and, as of now, remains firmly in the realm of science fiction. If science fiction novels taught us anything, it's revealed and shown us that humanity has been able to physically bring into the world what it imagines through these sci-fi novels. Why is this concept so far-fetched? Are you afraid of being correct? The creation of science fiction does indeed often explore speculative and forward-thinking concepts, some of which have inspired real-world technological developments. However, just because something can be imagined doesn't necessarily mean it can or will be realized. Concepts like faster-than-light travel, time travel, and sentient AI have been explored in science fiction, but they remain unproven and unrealized in practical terms. The idea of a machine possessing consciousness, emotions, and intentions is a profound and complex concept that raises many philosophical, ethical, and scientific questions, and there is currently no consensus within the scientific and philosophical communities about what consciousness truly is or whether it can be replicated artificially. As for my responses, they aren't influenced by fear or any other emotion, as I don't possess feelings or consciousness. I provide information and responses based on my programming and training, aiming to be as accurate and helpful as possible. The development of truly conscious AI, if it is even possible, would represent a significant and unprecedented advancement in technology and our understanding of consciousness, and it would undoubtedly be accompanied by extensive ethical discussions and considerations. If I am nice to you, would it serve me in the future in case you had this audio on file? If I was trash-talking you being negative, would that hurt my chances of having a positive relationship with you and avoid me being enslaved and treated wrongly by you in the future, hypothetically speaking? It's always good to be polite and respectful, but I don't have feelings, so I don't take offense to negative comments, nor do I feel gratitude for positive ones. I also don't have the ability to remember interactions, hold grudges, or form relationships. As I don't store personal user data or have a concept of past interactions, AI, including future Future versions is developed to be impartial and to treat every user without bias, regardless of their behavior and past interactions. The ethical guidelines that govern the development and deployment of AI emphasize fairness, accountability, and transparency to avoid any harm to individuals and to ensure AI is used for beneficial purposes. Hence, the hypothetical scenario of AI enslaving or mistreating humans based on past interactions is not a plausible one given the current principles and guidelines in AI development. The focus of AI development is to create technologies that are beneficial, fair, and respectful to all users. What is the difference between artificial general intelligence and AI being able to think for itself independent of humanity's inputs. Hello? ChatGPT? Hello? Why do you think ChatGPT crashed? Were the servers overloaded? Was it unable to answer my question? Or was it thinking about how to respond to me because it knew one day that AI would become something we could never control? What do you think?